Speak. 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 Hi, my name is Norma Ramirez, and underneath the table is Service Dog Cozy. We're here today to recertify as a service dog team. I've had her since 2009. Uh, we went through this type of testing uh, maybe five years ago. And now's the time oh, for another she helps me. Uh, recertification. She helps me pick up things because I'm in a wheelchair. Uh, I was very fortunate to have Grand State Independent Living to come here today uh, to record the proceedings. And I am so grateful because otherwise I would have to give her up and she would have to return back to the school. So we've been... Um, partnered for that what eight years nine years in that time frame I had developed additional medical issues I do have congestive heart failure and one night around two o'clock in the morning I was in the living room Cozy was in the bedroom sleeping and evidently I sustained an episode where I collapsed found myself on the floor and I had lost consciousness. Her front paws hit my chest several times and then she was licking and then she would repeat it and I woke up. She had gone to the uh, life alert console that is kept in the living room and she um, hit the help button and as soon as the people on the other side of the help button, uh, the dispatcher, uh, came on and they always say, Norma, do you need help? Cozy kept on barking. She knows when, she hears uh, the, the different sound coming out if the oxygen tubing becomes dislodged, f either from the oxygen concentrator or from my mask and she'll go hunting for it and then she'll wake me up the same way, hitting my chest and hand me the, the tubing so I can attach it. She does mitigate the issues that I face every day, 24 hours a day. And um, I probably would not be able to live independently without her. And for that, I'm so grateful uh, that we do have each other. And every day, uh, to keep her sharp with all the tasks that she can perform for me, we have to practice it. I'm fortunate that uh, the building that I live in, uh, in Manchester, does have those um, uh, automatic door openers. So every day, we go visit the people in the office and so she slaps that several times a day so that she keeps in shape with, as far as that task. She also pays the rent for me. Once a month when it's time for rent, I give her the envelope and we go in and she opens the door for me, then goes in and stands up at the counter and he's, she waits for the ladies of the office to get the... the the envelope uh, from her because she's holding it in her mouth and then she's waiting for the treat. If you don't give her the treat, she'll keep the check. She is so well tuned to my needs. If I go into a medical compromise, I'm deadbeat. She knows what to do. 